And you're on mute, Tim, if you were trying to say something. Good morning. My name is Monica Corda. I'm the Director of Business Development at the Tech Collective, and we are thrilled to have all of you here this morning for the power of Microsoft Teams and secure collaboration. For those of you who are unfamiliar with the Tech Collective, we are the IT Industry Association for the state of Rhode Island providing um, information sessions like this in, in topical and timely uh, topics, as well as training, mentoring, and then working with our P-TECH students who attend uh, <clears throat> high school in Providence for computer science interest. So today we are delighted to have Abby Hansen here from Ingram Micro. She is a Microsoft team and secure collaboration expert. And as she mentioned, for those of you, she is coming from far, far away in North Dakota. So where it is not as warm as it is in Rhode Island today. So um, I just ask close to the end of the presentation, I will put a one question, um, questionnaire in there just to if you would kindly let us know did this presentation meet the mark for you today did you get all that you wanted to and i think certainly by the attendance today we're we're hoping to have abby back in the future for more on on microsoft teams so abby i will hand it over to you thank you kindly you're welcome. Thank you, Monica. I'm very excited to be here today. Um, it, we, I found out last week that I really only had 30 minutes, but I actually bl bl blocked a whole hour. So if you have questions when the 30 minutes are up, I will stay on and I can answer your questions one on one as well. So feel free to stay on the call when the presentation is done if you if you have that time. Couple housekeeping items. So we are in Microsoft Teams. Um, I love to be interactive and in the moment when I'm doing my presentations. And so if you have questions, raise your hand. So up here on the right hand side, you can raise your hand and I will call on you. OK, so you can see that that will pop up. If you also have other questions, feel free to chat in this window here. So this is the bar of where you would chat. If you're not in the new version of Teams yet, where you have the ability to have two windows, which I will show you, your raise the hand button would be down here right where um, Monica is sitting, okay? And there will be a time when I ask everybody to turn on their cameras. Um, that's when it makes it fun will be for a brief moment in time. If you didn't do your hair or you have a child on your lap, that is okay. So I just wanna see you so that we can have a little bit of fun today. So we're gonna go ahead and dive right into the presentation. <coughs> so I just wanna start by stating that Microsoft Teams has 115 million daily active users. And this number just came out in Microsoft's annual report for the quarter. And pre-pandemic, there were 32 million, or 32 million daily active users. So you can see that the jump within Microsoft Teams has been astronomical. It is changing the way that we work every single day, including um, working from home, working remotely on our cell phones. And today we're gonna go ahead and kind of dive in to the way the workplace changed rapidly. And a lot of things that they had predicted that were going to happen by 2020 actually like escalated because of the pandemic. So when you're on Microsoft, you are on cloud services that you can trust. With security, it's built in. Microsoft spends over a billion dollars per year on their security platform. Compliance, um, based upon what industry you're in, there are over 90 regulatory compliance standards that are associated with Microsoft. Privacy and con control and also transparency. And in this deck, I believe they're going to send it out to you. You'll, you'll be able to see this and have the trust center information. So when we think about transforming the workplace, 86% of leaders cite the lack of collaboration or ineffective communication as a reason for workplace failures. 65% of leaders agree that moving from a hierarchical to team-based working is critical for success. And 45% of leaders have or implementing web-based collaboration. Now, by a show of hands, how many of you have ever quit a job because technology wasn't where you needed it to be? This is your first test. 
Show your hand on Teams. Great. Victoria, perfect. You got your hand up first. If I had prizes, you would be the one to get it. There you go. So I know we can show our hands on the video, but it's nice to be able to see them pop up. Um, I was once the digital transformation leader at an A company, and they made me sit at my desk for six months reading paper newsletters. Needless to say, as a digital transformation leader, I no longer worked for that company. I couldn't handle it. I wasn't challenged to do my job. Microsoft Teams helps us be challenged, helps us to be collaborative and have everything in one location. One statistic I love to throw out there, especially if you're the CEO of a company, when you fully collaborate on Microsoft Teams, on average, each employee can get back an hour per day. So that's five hours per week to put into projects that are revenue growing activities for your company. So think about that. If you have 100 employees, that's 500 hours per week. How much additional revenue could you bring to your company to help you grow? So I'll just throw that out there for you. So we can see here that Microsoft Teams is the hub for teamwork. We have chats and collaboration, meetings and calling, and app and workflow. Now, a bunch of you had already told me that you're in Microsoft Teams, so hopefully you're already acclimated using the chat functionality. In the meeting portion here, the slide's a little outdated and I'm going to show you in a little bit, but we have the ability to collaborate with 49 people plus the presenter on team and the together mode. And apps and workflow. The more you get into Microsoft Teams, you can actually streamline the processes. And I'm going to go ahead and mute oh, everybody oh. real quick because I hear somebody talking. Just give me one moment. All right, perfect. Can you guys still hear me? Thumbs up? Yep, perfect. All right, so apps and workflow as well. So if you're a sales organization, you can actually put teams in there and do everything from approving invoices to connecting to your CRM solution. So your employees never have to go anywhere. So teams can transform your business through collaboration. Here, you're gonna be able to see that we have collaboration here. People are talking back and forth. And Victoria, did you have a question or did you just forget to lower your hand? Okay, Dale, did you have a question? All right, I'm gonna just go ahead and lower some hands over here. Again, if you have questions, raise your hand, come off mute or even come into the chat window. So we can see they're transforming here. This is the marketing department. They're building out plans. They can streamline business processes by implementing Power BI through advanced analytics, um, looking to see where we're at for our numbers for the day by building everything into one location. You can connect everyone on a single platform. Um, and this is awesome. If you don't have Teams downloaded on your phone, that's an action item for you today if you have it on there. Teams on your phone will transform you um, with ways you cannot imagine. So I use it on my phone. I use it on my Surface Hub that's behind me. I even take phone calls off of my iPad, believe it or not. So that is a great thing to think about. Um, when I was interviewing for this job at Ingram Micro, I was interviewing from Africa. So that just shows you that Microsoft Teams can be anywhere. And it provides integrate our enterprise grade security and compliance. So you can see here through the security compliance and governance in teams, you can block credit card information, social security numbers, things that are important. If you're in education, you can block bullying words. What a way to empower your school district to be better. Um, Microsoft Teams is secure and encrypted. <clears throat> so everything you do within the platform stays within the platform. I love the idea of being in the field when I'm a field rep pre-COVID, I'm on an airplane, and being able to not give anyone my cell phone number, but being able to make phone calls directly out of Microsoft Teams app, put all of my pictures that pertain to business in the app, so I'm not storing anything locally where it shouldn't be. So running your business on Teams, we can do projects, processes. We can work with our people by doing training, implementations, everything across the board. So when we look at the project portion of it, 
Then we're going to get into the demo because that's the fun part. We can pull together people. I went a little too quick. Can you tell I'm a little excited to get to the demo? So we can pull together the project team. We can share information. If you didn't know, you no longer have to send your Excel spreadsheet back and forth via email anymore. You can do it all in Teams and store it there, and everybody can work on the document at the same time. You're no longer going to have to forget somebody or redo a document because it's all stored there for you. You can assign tasks and deadlines with the updated Microsoft Planner, schedule and check in meetings, collaborate on documents, and always be up to date on your notes. So I'm going to go ahead and go into the demo because I have about 10 or 15 minutes left. So I'm going to exit out of here. All right, I'm going to move this over. Questions so far? All right, now this is the time when I ask you to please turn on your cameras. Don't be afraid, I need at least 15 people. Can we get there? Please. All right. So today we're going to go ahead and go through Teams meetings and we're going to go through chat and a little bit of collaboration. And if we have time, we'll go through the Teams channels. OK, um, and it looks like there may be a question already in the chat window. So I'm going to come over here. No camera. It's OK, Jack. I'll forgive you. Again, if you have come on, go ahead and do the QR code. OK. So here we are. This is the meeting environment. It's nice, crisp. We're all here together. There's nine windows. And so a couple things in this environment that you can do that are pretty great is you can spotlight people. So when you spotlight people, you are spotlighting somebody for the whole team so that they're going to pop up in that way. So you just click on these three dots and you click spotlight. This came out last week. There are probably is going to be new functionality on this call that I'll discover as we're demoing. So that's how quickly things evolve. So you can see that she is the center. She is the center for everyone. This is nice if you're doing a large group presentation. And then you can go ahead and click stop spotlighting. Another thing is you're in control of your personal experience in Teams. So if I come to Tim, and thanks Tim, you look lovely today. I'm going to go ahead and click on Tim on the three dots. And I'm going to go ahead and fit Tim to the frame. And this is nice because sometimes somebody's not all the way on camera and this gives them just a little bit of nudge so that they're in your preview. We're also able to pin Tim. So if I just wanted to pay attention to Tim because I love shiny objects, I can go ahead and just pin Tim right in the middle. OK, so this is nice. All right, now this is where we're going to have a little bit of fun. So if we come to the three dots right here and we click on large gallery preview, this is when everybody who is on camera and there they are pops up at one time. So hey guys, how's it going? Looks like somebody's in their car, but not really, Eric. I love your background. So this is awesome, right? So we're able to collaborate and all be together on one location. Now, Microsoft Teams also loves to put us together. So here we are all sitting together in one location. If I wanted to, I could go ahead and give the person next to me a high five. She's drinking out of her coffee. There we go, we're giving a high five. Some cool things that are coming with Teams. Soon, we're going to be able to be sitting around a coffee table together. We're going to be able to sit out in the middle of the Stone Age having a meeting. And there's like six or seven additional features that are coming. OK. Oh, more people are coming on. I can tell. So you want to see yourself here. We can keep this up for a moment. All right. So it's kind of fun from that perspective. OK. I'm going to go ahead and go back to the gallery. So that's fun from that perspective. Thank you guys so much for turning your cameras on. Now, when we come over here to show participants, we see a couple of really cool things here. When we raise our hand, so if some people could go ahead and raise their hand, that would be awesome. See, there's no hands raised right here. Nope, gotta raise it in Teams. I know, little old fashioned, but click that hand raise button here or else down on the button. Can you guys, yes, there we go. So you can see it, her 
screen turned yellow. I know immediately that she raised her hand. Also, when other people raise their hand, normally, and I'm not sure what's happening, I'm gonna go ahead and click out of here, it would pop right back up to the top here. So you would be able to call on people in the order that they've raised their hand, okay? So I'm gonna come back and go over here again to the participant list and hopefully it's filed and you guys can go ahead. I think I'm running a little slow today. It's probably this 18 degree weather here in Fargo. But with that, you'll pop up in the order that you've raised your hand, okay? You can go ahead and lower your hands. And I think I'm running in slow, what the heck? Larry, hi, Larry. <laughs> but you can see down here that the people down here as well have, have raised and lowered their hands as well. So you can see that it pops up. Um, if um, Monica were to talk again, it would actually come up as a purple box around her as well. So we're gonna be able to see it from that perspective. All right, I'm gonna come back over to the participant list. And you can see here that Mary, has her hand raised, Teresa as well. So they've actually popped up and moved to the top. This is nice so you can run a quick and effective meeting. Once you call on them, what you do is you actually come over here and you click on the three dots and you click lower hand. And then you can move on to the next person in line, okay? So unless you guys have questions, feel free to lower your hand just by clicking on the hand button again, great. Now, some other things that you can do from over here are you can pin them, you can spotlight them, you can make them an attendee. If you make them an attendee, they can't take over your desktop, which sometimes is a good thing if people love to play around, and you can remove them from the meeting. Now, I am all about security. If I see somebody anonymous on the call and I ask who the anonymous person is and they don't answer, I remove them. Um, because stuff we talk about is private. And once you remove them, they're not allowed back in the call. So it's important to understand that as well. Okay. Quick, quick question, yeah. Abby. Um, yeah. uh, pinning is for your own presentation and spotlight is for everyone. Is that correct? Thank you. Yep, absolutely. Great question. Now, other cool things about the participant list is up here on these three dots, I can click on don't allow attendees to unmute. Now, if you're giving a conversation, you can click that so people can't interrupt you. You can also manage the permissions. So when I click on manage permissions, it's going to bring us out to here, okay? It's gonna take a moment to load. And in the manage permis permis permission section, you can actually choose who can bypass the lobby. So that means that you would have to admit every single one. And I do that sometimes before a call. Um, and then once the call starts and I've started to let people in, I'm gonna change the permissions on the fly because I don't wanna hear beep, beep, beep. It gets annoying. Um, you can announce when callers join or leave, who can present. So at this point in time, I'm gonna choose only me, okay? And then allow attendees to unmute. So I'm gonna go ahead and click save. Now, when I do that and we come over here, you can just see that I made all 90, 90 of you attendees, okay? So that means that nobody else can take over at the moment. Now, the other cool part about here is I can download the attendee list. So now I'm gonna have everybody who joined. Download the attendee list and I come over to my Microsoft Teams into files. And I go to download the attendee list is here. Now, this attendee list, you're gonna be able to see some numbers I have up. I'm gonna be able to see when people joined and if they left the call, okay? Now, this is great if you're a marketing company or you run a lot of events, you're gonna be able to have that information at your fingertips as well. Questions so far? Monica, you are on mute. Yes. Do you have a question? So that, that feature is only available to the presenter of the meeting or to the person who coordinated the meeting? Yep, it's only available to the organizer. So we run boot camps here for our partners at Ingram Micro. And so we want to be in control of those when we're, the, when we're running them, but our marketing team actually is. So now they have to come in 
three times a day to pull the attendee list on our eight hour boot camps. And so it's it's good to know that if you are the organizer, you should download that. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna keep going in these three dots here. So here you also have the meeting options button. Okay, they just implemented this like last week and I found out while I was doing a presentation like this. So now you don't have to go out to the web. It's actually right here. So if I wanted to, and this helps eliminate the beep, 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 as you admit people from the lobby, you can change it on the fly, which is great. Okay. You also have the device settings that are here. Okay. So you can change on the fly and do your troubleshooting if your camera is not working, your microphone's not working. Um, and so I use a Jabra Puck when I speak, but I could actually switch back to my computer. So everything happens within my home office here. I can also switch my camera. I had three cameras set up at one time, but I could switch if I wanted to, to my Jabra Pancast 180 camera. This camera is awesome if you um, are working in a conference room so everybody can see you. So you can see my whole dirty office at home, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and go back here. I usually have an eagle eye camera. So when I'm on the third monitor, it looks down at me as well, but my husband took that away from me it's for an interview. <laughs> anyway, so here we go. And we look down here again, you have your meeting details here. So if you need to add somebody, you're able to do that in this fashion. Um, you also have the ability, we went through the fun stuff. You have the call me feature and now the background effects. So. Here's a true story. COVID hit. The only functionality that Microsoft had released was the background blur. I have twin boys that were working from home or going to school from home. One of my twins came in completely naked. Kid you not. And I didn't have my background blur on. So actually, you have the ability now to put a picture up that you want. You no longer have to worry about your house being clean um, and you're able to be in your office if you want to. So I can apply that there. Or um, we do some fun things here at Ingram. Last week we did a murder mystery and I was the nerd. Um, so I can actually put up any background that I want to. I can also upload backgrounds that I want just by clicking add new and then that picture will populate there for you as well. I am really missing football. I am a football junkie. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead if it is still here and go Bison. Okay. So you can see you have the ability to change that on the fly. You also here can turn on live captions. Now, turn on live captions is a functionality from your end. You're going to hear sound from the person that is speaking. This is great if you have bad network connectivity, you have a disability, Microsoft is completely inclusive, which is great. Now, if Tim were to come off mute, can you work with me, Tim? <laughs> yes. Say hello. Hello. You can see Paul, our Tim's name is popping up there as well. So we're going to know who is going to be there on the fly. Thank you, Tim. I appreciate you today. Very now, well. what is so cool as well about all of this is that transcription is coming to Microsoft Teams. So up by this chat button here, the whole meeting is eventually going to be transcribed in a running window right where the chat is. It will be downloadable. So if you are an administrative assistant in charge of all of the meetings, you just saved yourself an hour to an hour and a half to two hours. Awesome, okay? Now, if we come back over here, you also have the ability to stop recording, dial pad, and then you turn off incoming video. I'm gonna come over to chat now. Oh, and I forgot, how many of you love Snapchat and you take pictures of yourself and make yourself all beautiful? Nobody? Raise your hands if you do. Filtering is coming to Microsoft Teams. If you are sitting in a dark window, oh, Rosemary, thank you for admitting it. Me too. So filtering is coming. If you sit in a dark room, it's going to bring in natural light. If you need a better filter for your face so you can show up professional to every single call, it's coming. So there's no longer an excuse not to turn on your camera, okay? 
What is the option to turn off the individual meetings notification sounds? That's great. I'm going to go ahead and show you that as well. We have about four minutes left, um, so we will be doing another session. So it's great for us to talk about this in depth and I will be staying on. So in the chat section here, you can see down here, we have the ability to write and type just like we are in a Word document. We can attach a document here to start collaborating. Everything is going to save here. You don't even need to click the save button. We can add in the smiley face. We can add in gifts to have a little bit of fun. And I always just do the first one. So I don't know. I don't see my screen. Did it stop sharing? Rosemary, we'll get you there, okay? Um, so you have that ability from that perspective as well. Here's the hand raise function that is there. And we've gone through that. Questions on this meeting functionality? I'm going to quit sharing and I'll go ahead and share it one more time. Okay. Can you see me again? I'm kind of moving my mouse in the middle. Okay, perfect. So with the three minutes that we have left, I'm going to come over here. And we're going to go through this section up here real quick because this is how we get started and then we'll go ahead um, on the next call um, which we could schedule whenever tech collective you're going to be able to see here these are your settings so you can see here that we're presenting we're going through all of this you can set a status message but the question about notifications is here so when you go into your settings and you go to notifications this is actually where you can turn off the sound or show message preview. So what I, I would recommend doing is actually coming into this area to be able to change that. And hopefully that answered your question. And I'm going to go ahead and just move you guys over real quick. All right, so that is that portion of it. The other cool thing is within here is you are able to change your photo um, and check for upgrades and so forth like that as well. Okay, here up at the top is where you do your shortcuts. So you're able to just do a forward slash and then do shortcuts to get to different areas within Microsoft Teams. And then you have your activity section over here as well. I am in Teams 99.9% .9 of my day, believe it or not. So when I have somebody that mentions me I can see that she liked it so she put a little smiley face up here and this is actually the chat from our meeting so if you have questions after this meeting ends you can come right back into teams and ask it here and I'll keep the meeting open for a week how cool is that and that's important to know for your organizations as well but because I'm in teams all the time I can come to my activity and I can actually go through here to try to find the different areas within Microsoft Teams that I had been working on. Okay. Here's the chat functionality. And I have about one minute left, but you can see we are chatting here um, from that perspective. So I'm going to go ahead and stop and see if there are any questions. And I know that was super fast. Deb, yes, feel free to come off mute. Abby, do you know what you'll be covering in the next um, webinar in January, or are you still going to put that together? You know what, um, we can, we'll go through chat and collaboration. Um, and Monica and team, I think we should go an hour because <laughs> it, can, it can get in depth if you're all okay with that but we can actually show how we can collaborate within Microsoft Teams using document collaboration. We'll also go through effective teams on how to set them up so you avoid team sprawl um, and how to make sure you're using the right team for your department. We'll talk about calendar, calendaring, cannot talk today. So how to use your calendar within Teams, files, and the rest of the functionality. And I want to show you one more cool thing real quick, and I know we're going to go past time, but I am here for the next 20 minutes if you want me. Down here in the right hand corner is the help button. And I know a lot of you have Microsoft Teams right now. In this help button, 
you are going to be able to see training. Now this will get you through until we meet again, but all of these are under three minute trainings. So if you have questions about the basics or anything that are there, this will be training to get you and your teams up and running Microsoft Teams. You can also see what's new with Microsoft Teams. That's there as well. All right. And just to show you, we talked about the form and that this is what you saw. So we were able to see the results real time and you can incorporate Microsoft Forms directly into your meetings, your teams, your chats and create this. This form took me 32 seconds to create. 32 seconds, it's ridiculous. And you see all of your responses here. And what's really cool is you can open it in Excel. So if you're running an event, a meeting, a potluck, if you're in person, you're ordering shirt sizes for swag for your team, you don't have to do it on paper anymore. When I first started at Ingram Micro, I came directly from Microsoft. I saw potluck forms all over the walls in Buffalo, New York. I tell you, they got on Microsoft Forms so quickly, it was crazy. So you can see we have everything here that's listed. All right. Are there any, um, Scott, do you have a question? Yes, Microsoft Teams is just organizational based, right? It is so much more than organizational based. So do you mean like organizing data or organizing like people and departments? Talking about um, organizational as far as uh, business goes. I mean, it's not a, uh, say as public like Zoom is, it, it's strictly organizational. So, okay, two ways to think about Teams. So you can use Teams in meetings like we're in right now. So we're all in this meeting. Anyone can access this link if you're on Teams or not. Your web browser, you can have a dial-in phone number, um, things along those lines, okay? So you can have productive meetings here on the fly within Teams. But when it comes to being a part of your organization, you can see here on the left-hand side that I have a bunch of teams, okay? And I actually have teams with external people as well. So some of my partners, this is how I communicate with them. We share files, contracts, documents, all within one location. I started to set up this finance demo. And in this finance demo, you are able to see here, we can chat back and forth for everything regarding the financial department. There are nine hidden channels because it builds it for you based upon what type of industry you're in. And we can pull all of these out to start building these channels. Now, I'm gonna show you something that I don't really normally show on a, a customer facing demo, but here I have my Ingram Micro Teams partners. In there, I have private channels that have locks on them. So in those private channels, only people that are able or are invited to those channels can see the channel. So you can see here, this is how I communicate. I have 251 guests from outside of my organization that see this data that I post every single day about Microsoft Teams. Here, I have all of my files. So when I'm working with my partners to help them grow their businesses, I have all the training files that are here and accessible to them. Now it's important to note everything within the channels is saved on a SharePoint backend. I have partner training opportunities here that I use through a wiki. So everything is in one location. Um, gone are the days that you have to have things all over, going to multiple different websites. Everything can be located here. I use Microsoft OneNote, which you can see I have tagged on my desktop, but anything that I get that's important from my partners, I put into OneNote, super easy with one click in email, and they're able to come here and actually see um, all of the blog posts that have populated. So you can see that's here. And I organize it, this takes a second because there's a lot in there, but you can see I organize it by date. Um, you can also put websites in here. 
So if you have, um, and I just do the on-demand webinars from Ingram, but if you have vendors that you go and you order parts from, put it here. If you have your CRM system up in the cloud, put it here. Put anything important in here to help your, your company and your employees stay in one location. Hopefully that answered your question. I could really go on and on, and I have a purple stained Kool-Aid on my face, but it's pretty cool on what it can do for your organization. Well, thank you so much, Abby. I know we've really made you speak at super high speed to try to get us so much information. And and certainly, right, even the folks, there are 78 people who have still stayed on past the end of this call. So we appreciate your, your interest and your patience. Um, Jana from Vertical 6, thank you for getting Abby to this group. We so appreciate the, the wealth of knowledge that uh, she has been able to share with us. And Krios and Michalazzo from the Tech Collective team for just getting it out there to our members of the Tech Collective as well as to the IT community. So we look forward to seeing you all again at our, our next informational session. I think, Abby, we're just going to have to book you for, you know, 2021, we'll have this as a monthly coffee or something. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. <laughs> if folks could take a moment just to fill out that.